Wake up, Warhawks. Today is Wednesday, August 16, 2023, and this is News at Noon with Bree and Alyssa. Varsity football plays this Friday night at home against Geneva County in the preseason jamboree. The theme for the game is Chain Up the Bulldogs. We will be dressing up in blue to support our local first responders. There is no pep rally because it is a preseason game. Need ideas on how to dress up? See LaShondra, Tiara, and the rest of Diablo's number one pet squad. The gate sweep will occur at 5.30 with gates, officially opening at 6.15. Tickets are $7 each at the gate. We're going old school Friday night and only taking cash. Students in the 8th grade or below must be accompanied by an adult. If you're interested in working on the chain crew, see Coach Gardner. The home team provides the chain crew each week. Those are the folks with the fancy yellow air markers that let you know how much farther you have to run to get a first down and keep the ball in your team's hand. The view from the sideline is intense, so be ready. The football team wants to thank the Alone Lions Club for feeding, them, feeding the team this past week. Before the games, different civic organizations set up to the plate and help car load our Warhawks to their winning season. If you or your organization would like to volunteer to take a week, contact Coach Garner. Junior and senior class officer voting is beginning this week. Read the signs on the wall. Students interested in serving their class should go see each, of, each class's sponsor. Ms. Strickland is the contact of the classes of 2024. Ms. Gingrich is the contact for the class of 2025. Packets are due back to each respect respective teacher by August 18th. These packets include requirements as listed and references from two teachers from last school year. Make sure you review your responsibilities before applying for candidacy because our class officers do actual work. Voting will take place in the day after the 18th campaign. Signs are allowed, but make sure you do not take anything in the newly painted walls in the main day. The senior class should pay special attention to voting in officers. The officers for this year will be responsible for planning your 10th, 20th, and 20th, and all class reunions. Far, far into the future, the senior class president will have a small part in the year's graduation ceremony. Officers are also responsible for your class votes and class activities during homecoming. Congratulations to the new officers for Sun Nations, our school choir. They are President Iran Luna, Vice President Matthew Jahandar, and Librarian Zoraya Satterfield. Students should be aware that the front office has issued you five passes for each class you use to go to the bathroom each restroom each semester. That's 35 passes in all. Use some responsibility. Congratulations to the new JV and varsity volleyball team. JV includes A. Lugo, A. Peck, J. McLean, B. Hicks, J. French, B. Enfinger, A. Morris, L. Schallenberger, A. Orr, and Taylor, and K. Williams. Our varsity team includes Gianna Brennan, Rosalie Lascano, LaShondra Lish Straw, Kaylee Carr, Camry Carr, Kiani Schmidt, Jordan Atkins, Rihanna Blanks, Harley Jones, and Anaya Glendon. Congratulations, ladies. Their first game will be Thursday the 24th at Houston Academy, beginning at 4. JV plays for the first time on the 28th at home against Carroll at 5. Media guide ads are available to businesses or individuals interested in parties to see Ms. Robertson for form. The cheerleaders have already released the game theme schedule. It is posted outside Ms. Strickland's room. Stop by and check it out so that you can get into the game. On the list is blue, Hawaiian, 90s, superheroes, pajamas, camo, country, blue and gold, class colors, twin day, and pink. Bill Miller will be on campus August 21st at 9.45 to give out information on class rooms and letter and jackets. Parents interested in attending this meeting are welcome and should sign into the front office. Kayla Smith, Emma Roberts, Matthew Jahandar, and Emily Stinson were recently selected to represent Daleville during the 2023 through 2024 school year in the Dale County Youth Leadership Program. Congratulations. We look forward to hearing about what you learn over the next year. 
The Talon yearbook is back from the printer. Students who purchased a copy of last year's yearbook should have already received theirs if they are a current student. Last year's graduating seniors can pick up theirs by stopping by the front office and signing in. An office aide will pick up your yearbook from Ms. Souders and deliver it to you in the front office. Yearbook sales for next year's yearbook are already beginning. See Ms. Souders or Tia for details. If you are planning on participating in the art show at the National Piano Festival in October, now is the time to prepare your answer. A list of relevant competitions is now on their website. Check it out when you have time. Teachers, Ms. Lee is on the hunt for our official testing headphones. Testing headphones. If you borrowed them, please return them to the middle school library to be used this week. Lunch for today is a barbecue sandwich, broccoli, mixed vegetables, cheeses, and assorted milk. Breakfast for tomorrow is assorted cereal, yogurt, pineapple chunks, juice, and assorted milk. Lunch, lunch for tomorrow is chicken quesadilla, romaine salad, ranch dressing, English peas, apple patch, and assorted milk. That's all of the announcements for today. Go Warhawks!